Hennessy never stop, never settle. So Durant with his 51 tonight. So the Warriors this season have three guys who have scored at least 50. And here's the other time it happened, 61-62 Lakers, when Elgin Baylor, Jerry West, and Rudy LaRusso. Rudy LaRusso? Oh, Rudy all, worked that tell you what. You know what? Uh, What's up, Rudy? Rudy? Rudy was a five-time All-Star. And uh, see if you guys can tell me, what was Rudy LaRusso's nickname? Well, Mustard can't be good. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Brutus. I'm going. No, I'm, like no, I'm going. I'm going, yeah, like I'm, going with, no, I'm going with ha- Honey Boy. Honey Boy. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going, going to Brutus. Boy. Is that is that yeah. Tim Kylie in the back? You know <laughs> our producer. <laughs> oh, That's our producer. It is. Kylie in the back. Right. Hey. He looks and like Brutus. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Ernie? You know honey what? Boy, isn't it? He was known by all five of those nicknames. Oh, no way. yes, he was. According to. Well, you. listen. I know. Listen. I like four of those. You can't be calling people musty. Basketball. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't be calling people musty. <laughs> I call you musty every Come week. Come on, man. Can't That's be your call- nickname hey, too. Hey, that must is not, musty is not a good nickname. That's your nickname. <laughs> your, your, yours is hey, musty. Hey, musty. Here come musty. <laughs> We smell him before we see him. No, no. Oh, come on, man. Musty. <laughs> musty. But you like Honey Boy? You like that one? Honey Boy Ben Musty. Yeah, I'd rather be called Honey be, Boy. You could be musty. like sweet, like Honey Boy. Yeah. Like that, that boy sweet. You've heard that term before. No, but no. I'm talking about, <laughs> hey, hey, you can't, you can't go. You can't, hey, no, I only want to wait one way to go with Musty. <laughs> only one way to go with it. Uh, boy Ooh. sweet. Musty. Hey, Ernie, uh, Elgin, Baylor, El- Elgin Baylor, yeah. one of two great people, great <laughs> I think in the NBA history, he's the greatest <sighs> player never to win the NBA championship. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Way to bring it back to center. That was really uh, nice. Uh, uh, thank you, Musty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, so it, this seemed, with Golden State, without Durant, I mean, without Curry, and without Draymond Green, I mean, this is kind of a no-lose situation in this when you look at this possible finals meeting and say, hey, look, Golden State lost that game in Toronto. Yeah, but Curry didn't play and Draymond didn't play. If they had won that game... No, but this was a game for Toronto. I mean, if, if, they, had, was, if they had won that game over Toronto in their gym without those guys... It, it wasn't... It wasn't it, I mean, when you play certain games, it ain't about that team, it's about your team. This is... A, nobody believes in the Toronto Raptors. Uh, even last year when I was on that bandwagon, Shaq ended up being right. He says, I'm not riding with those guys. They're not good enough. They're different with Kawhi. This was a game they had to win right. from a psychological standpoint. Uh, I, I, I truly believe that. That's what I was saying. Well, I think overall, though, when you don't, obviously, without Steph Curry, he is the person who sets the pace that no one can play at. And we talked about what Steve Nash, I've said this before, what Steve Nash has done. When you play against the Phoenix Suns, you have to play fast, had to play fast. When you play against Jason Kidd, you had to play fast to beat them. When you play against the Golden State Warriors, Right now, you don't have to play fast because you can slow them down at times, and that's why they've struggled. With him in the game, he is the ultimate pace setter. He's the ultimate. That is, a, that is part of the fifth thing of being a superstar, that leadership and creating a pace that your team can play and function at. And I like the way Toronto was playing, but let's not forget, last year they had the best record in the Eastern Conference, and they let us down in the playoffs. I'm not riding until I see them do something. I'm me. all in. Okay, I, mean, I told you. Know, you. I'm mean, all listen, in. Listen, I like them. I'm glad they're in first. But yeah. I don't they're, know they're, different. they're different this year, Shaq, only because of the versatility. Because okay. when they were... But the versatility got to step up they, in no, the playoffs. No, before, like, they, their bigs the don't shoot Versatility has to step up in the playoffs. But they had their a bigs bit of versatility the last year. But no, no, different. Right, I'm, I'm just they, saying, were, they were a two-point shooting team last year. I'm happy for as them. As great as they were, they could only beat you by the two. But what Kawhi has done, they could beat you in between... They could post you, and they could shoot the three yeah. to beat you. They, they're a different but basketball team. But, but the one thing he does, them, Jack, and I said this earlier, when you have a superstar, like, you like, we have a, that guy. Very few teams have that Popeye guy. Popeye with the spinach. He gives you spinach. He gives you that confidence yeah. that spreads around, like, oh, we have one of those, too. Like, tonight, when Durant was going for 50, Kawhi didn't get 50, but he got 40. When you have one of those guys, it makes those other guys pump out their chest. No question. Excellent point, Musty.